So this is a straight off the boat. This is a 1993 Porsche 968. Uh, I've just imported it from the UK, as you can see by the UK rego still on it. Uh, so this is a bit of a bucket list car for me when I was probably, God, I don't know, 17 or 18, the 968 came out. And uh, I remember they were a pretty amazing sort of thing. Uh, you know, three litre, four cylinder, 16 valve, six speed transaxle uh, in one sense they really are only a massive evolution of the sort of vw audi derived 924 which then became the 944 which is now the 68 uh, i don't really care though um i had a 944s back in the day that uh we turboed well, we put a turbo motor in uh, and I raced that for a few years uh, in Porsche Cup. But yeah, uh, a, a 968 has always been on the list for me and uh, only quite recently I started looking at stuff out of the UK and this car popped up uh, and I just, uh, I knew it was the one. It, uh, it's not a club sport, it's not a sport, it's just an ordinary run of the mill 968 however i do like the creature comforts and as much as i would have liked a club sport uh, my days of spending weekends at the track are pretty much uh over for the time being so yeah let's uh have a look through it it's a bit of an odd color combo so uh i forget what the actual color of the blue is uh, I had a 911 in this colour blue, I think, a few years ago. So yeah, the interior is in pretty decent nick. I actually like the tan leather. I could probably do with a little bit of a uh, sort of resto, but I'm quite happy with the um, with the cracking. I just don't want it to get any worse. Hang on, just let me take the... Oh, and this is something weird. It's got the... It's like a little USB immobiliser. That will be going straight in the bin. That's pretty annoying. Uh, so it's done 114,000 miles. What's that, like 170-something thousand Ks? It's been very well looked after, as you can see by the two files worth of history and receipts that I got from the previous owner. Uh, let's see if I can... Oh, the bonnet release will be on the other side. Yeah, so uh, one amusing thing about a 968 is they have an electric boot release. So if the battery is flat, you've got to climb into the back and put the jump pack uh, into the battery. So yeah, check out the files. We've got Porsche history and Porsche service history. So pretty incredible. Uh, OE Porsche mats. Now, I'm pretty sure I can find the bonnet release. So I've put up more of these bonnets than I can count. There we go. Yeah, so not really much to see. There's a big lump of four cylinder. Uh, there is actually a kit to put the uh, five cylinder Audi direct injection motor into this chassis. Man, that would be, uh, that would be quite something and what a noise it'd make. Uh, yeah, not really, not really anything untoward under here. Uh, one amazing thing, uh, given that it's a UK car, is it doesn't appear to be any rust at all. I had it checked out underneath before before I bought it in the UK. So yeah, not not really a huge amount to hear from the exhaust. Uh, my mechanic, Richie James from RJP, used to look after these when he was at Fitzgerald Racing uh, in sort of production cars and he said that 
there's just no power to be found. They're pretty well optimized in terms of exhaust and inlet. Uh, so if, if I do end up keeping the car, then I will, uh, I reckon I might put a Rotrex on it. Just because I've been so happy with the Rotrex on the, uh, on the MX-5. But yeah, everything works beautifully from what I can see. Uh, the 16s are going, as you can imagine. Uh, I've got some 18 inch Techno Magnesios coming from Jap Japan. Yeah, so uh, this is a pretty good day for me. Uh, I don't know how much I will be doing to this car, but uh, there'll certainly be a few more videos and it will certainly be getting uh, a little bit of paintwork done, some paint correction, and we'll go from there. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.